हे गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ फिक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू एट अनदर वीडियो एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन सी वॉट आर जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑपरेटर्स एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो इफ यू स्टे टिल लास्ट आई एम गोन शो यू वन वियर थिंग दैट जावा स्क्रिप्ट डज एंड इट्स अ वेरी बियर वियर बिहेवियर बट यू विल Uh, and if you want to know that thing just stay till the end and it is going to be a fun session and let's get started so what a uh, thing comes to your mind when you uh, listen about and when you heard about these operators so what does these operators mean okay so operators operators basically means what let's say if you want to operate on something so we have different types of data types in our javascript let's say number we have right we have string we have arrays we have objects and we have this okay we have boolean also right so to operate on this particular data types we will be needing operators and what these operators will do Th this will operate something it will do calculations let's say comparisons let's say okay so they can uh, they are able to perform various different things but today in this video we are just going to see the basic operators that are present in java script okay so what are these basic operators that we have so first of all we have our addition operator okay addition operator is our plus it will add up Uh, two things but how does uh, how does it work uh, for different data types let us see that with example as well another we have is subtraction right later on what we have is multiplication multiplication and after that we have is our division and another one with that we have is modulus and this modulus is also an another interesting thing it should be modulus m o d u right right yeah so we are going to see these all operators in today's video so let us just continue this thing with our vs code and yes right now i am in my index.js file right so what i want right now is let's say i want to do console dot log and this one plus 2 so what is the output that i am expecting right now i am expecting it should return me 3 in the output because i am doing simple calculation 1 plus 2 let us see whether it is working properly or not yes it is giving me 3 in the output so yes it is working very properly so this is the basic use of this our uh, addition operator basically this all addition multiplication division modulus these operators are known as arithmetic operators that is a very fancy name given to this basic calculations that we can also do with the help of calculator as well okay but what will happen if i try to add one string with these two numbers let's say i am adding a string of 5 so you know guys that everything written in double quotes or single quotes in javascript referred to as stringed right but you might be surprised to see you might say that this will this code will give me error but no just uh just see here what i am getting in my output i am getting 35 as output and how is it possible see what is happening i am getting this result 1 plus 2 is 3 of course and after that what my javascript encounters is a string so what what does what does it will do so it will concatenate my string with the previous result it is getting okay so th in this way the uh, uh, javascript works and let's say if i put my string in the middle of these two numbers let's say 1 plus this string plus 2 and right now if i am saving this and running on this see i am getting 152 152 in my output and how is this possible see it is considering one as a number right but after one it is getting string value so it is just concatenating my one with five and whatever whatever we whatever value we, values we are getting after the string so my javascript will consider them as string and not as a number so before before encountering string if you are getting any numbers 
सो इट विल मेक अ प्रॉपर कैलकुलेशन एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन वॉट एवर इट इज आफ्टर स्ट्रिंग आफ्टर द एनकाउंटर ऑफ स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू द रिमेनिंग वैल्यूज आर कंसिडर्ड एज स्ट्रिंग एंड जावा स्क्रिप्ट विल जस्ट सिंपली इन लाइक कॉन्केटिनेट ऑल दैट ऑल डोज वैल्यूज लेट से आई एम एडिंग फाइव आफ्टर दिस आई एम एडिंग सेवन आफ्टर दिस सो इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट एवर आई एम एडिंग आफ्टर दिस इन द आउटपुट यू कैन सी वन फाइव टू फाइव सेम आई टू फाइव सेवन आई एम गेटिंग एंड लेट से इफ आई एड टू बिफोर वन एंड इफ आई लाइक रन इट राइट नाउ लेट मी जस्ट क्लियर द कंसो आउटपुट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी आई एम गेटिंग थ्री फाइव टू फाइव सेवन सो फर्स्ट थ्री इज गेटिंग फ्रॉम दिस टू प्लस वन इज थ्री and after 5 all are string values but it is actually not but javascript is considering them as string values because it is encountering the string over here at the third place so that's the very weird behavior of behavior of javascript and that is the point that i wanted to make particularly in this video okay so that's the very first operator that we have and let's see what is kept there for our second operator that we have is a uh, minus operator so 2 2 minus 1 it will simply give us what 1 in the output so that's the very simple thing yeah i'm getting 1 in my output let us do one thing let us just remove this console and yeah see right now what i'm doing i am just subtracting many files yeah and let us see what does it give me see it is giving me minus 19 so that's the very perfect answer over here and if we try to add the string over here see and right now if i try to run this code see how does how does it work for this minus operator it is giving me what minus 19 the same thing i am getting over here see okay so it doesn't matter in case of this uh minus uh minus operator or that what we call as subtraction operator it will give me the same results in case of this minus operator okay and how why it is be behaving like this weirdly in case of addition operator because if we want to concatenate concatenate two things we are using this plus operator to concatenate two strings so that is why it is giving us that uh, weird behavior okay so this is about the subtraction operator third one we have is our multiplication operator and how does it work uh, simply we need to pass on two values and i am using star so star will be uh, considered as multiplication operator over here and i should be getting 12 12 for this yes i am getting 12 okay so that's the thing and uh, let's say if i am adding one more value let's say phi So twelve fives are sixty. Let us see if I'm getting sixty or not. Yes, I'm getting sixty. So multiplication operator is simple. It is just uh, it will just get used for multiplication of two values. And let us see how does it work with string as well. See, right now I am also getting sixty in the output. So my JavaScript will not show me error in this case of multiplication. Let us do one thing. i try to put high over here and that's a proper string very proper string it it is not actually a number and right now if i'm running this so right now it is showing me not a number okay so in case of this number let's say i'm using 80 over here so my javascript will convert my 80 into the number as as we can convert this 80 into the number properly we cannot convert any text written over here okay so that's the thing and that is very that's that is the one that is one of the reason i love javascript we can write anything over in javascript and we can get our results okay so 960 is the output for this and with that we have another thing that is okay why does getting deleted any time okay we have another operator that is what our division operator okay so division operator will work like this let's say i am dividing 12 by 4 so my expected output could be this 3 only see i am getting 3 because 4 3s are 12 and this division will give me what the quotients quotient whenever we are dividing two things what i am getting in my output is quotient so let's say okay i think my connection is restored no issues 
see i i will show you one thing let's say i am dividing let's say i am dividing two things let's say 4 i am dividing 12 i am dividing with 4 so the question is 3 okay and my remainder is 0 in this case so my question will always be printed in the output in case of division okay so that's the thing yeah and let us see one other thing let's say i'm doing 12 by 4 and by 3 this time and let us see what i'm uh, getting in my output right now i'm getting one and how this thing is being evolved so i will uh, let you know this thing in the next video which is going to be our operator precedence so in which of in which order javascript consider operators let's say we are using addition multiplication and division in the same statement then how uh, like in which order they will get executed we will we will be seeing that in our next video next upcoming video no issues but as of now you should uh, be considering that my four my 12 is getting divided by four and the remainder is like the question is one in this case and after that we are like getting three slash three so that is of course one okay so in this way this division works and right now we have one interesting thing that is modulus operator so those guys who are who know programming who knows programming a little bit of programming they might know about this modulus but this modulus will give you reminder when whenever we are dividing two things so let's say i'm taking 13 and i'm using modulus 4 so in this case my question will be what 3 and my reminder after subtracting 12 from this 13 so i'm how like how it will work see first of all uh, let me just clear this thing what is happening yeah see whenever we are dividing let's say i'm dividing 13 in this case with 4 so my question will be 3 in this case okay and i am 4 is just 12 so i am subtracting 12 from this 13 and i am getting my remainder as 1 so 1 is the remainder and it will represent my mod value and the same thing we are gonna get in our code see in modulus whenever i'm saying this file i am running this i am getting one in my output so where, from where this one is coming from the reminder section whenever we are dividing two things okay so i think that's it for today's video i hope you guys have got the idea about the basic operators that are present in javascript in the upcoming videos we are gonna see different types of another operators that we have let's say we have comparison bitwise and many more operators in javascript okay so stay connected and if you are new to the channel do subscribe the channel if you find the content useful and also don't forget to press that notification bell and yes with that i will see you guys in next upcoming video until then goodbye